Audu Billahi Minash Shaitan al Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to today's video blog. It's go water. Now, but in the region of Somalia is where we focus our attention intensely on today's video blog. Somalia, a great land with massive history and culture, a language that's rich with dynamic sentence structure and continuity. Somalia, a region in East Africa that is truly rich in culture and identity. A nation that has never been colonized by Western powers or Western, Western forces. Somalia, a region with rich and beautiful language as well as beautiful people. Beautiful in appearance and food that is just as tasty. Somalia, a region with a coastline of 3,025 kilometers. Somalia, with a population of 9,832,017. People who are all put in a region that's slightly smaller than Texas. 45% of the population. Ages range from 0 to 14. An additional 52.6% of the population. Ages range from 15 to 64. The average life expectancy in the region of Somalia is 49. In today's video blog, we're going to cover our brothers and sisters of the nation of Somalia, once known as Abyssinia. Abyssinia has a historical importance in the context of Islam for the first hijra or migration into Africa was in Abyssinia. Those companions of the Prophet وسلم, years ago who migrated to Abyssinia were all scholarly and some of the best Muslims we know today. Hence by default, Somalia is a nation that is rich and has been affected by some of the most beautiful aspects of Islam. Muhammad Abdullah Hassan was one of the Somalian leaders who helped expel the British. His regime in 1960 pushed the British colonizers out of Somalia, not giving them the chance to do what they did to the African Americans, which was brutal in other parts of the world, like India. This colonization system of racism and oppression, our Somalian brothers and sisters were able to resist. Hence, we come to the point where we discuss the movie Black Hawk Down. In the movie Black Hawk Down, there are a series of scenes that I've included in my video blog to give you an example of the detriment of our media in the West and how it criminalizes a complete nation of over nine million people. In this scene, you'll see the horrific brutalization and murder of Somalian people, all done by United States troops, special forces, when the Somalian people are on the roof. This is a very painful view for anyone of African descent, let alone Somalians. This is for God, right? Jesus Christ, look at that. So with the movie Black Hawk Down, not only did they take this concept of killing the black man first, they decided to do millions or hundreds of black men first in one scene. See, I have a tooth to pull with Western Hollywood. See, it's been the black man in the movies that was always the first to die. It was that brother who jumped out the closet with the pistol that's the first one to get shot. No matter what movie you watch, 
you can always guarantee that the black man will die first. For the things that were done wrong and criminalization within the media, within this movie screen that we so much support with our dollar bills has unequally and unequivocally demeaned minority and third world countries beyond the ability of repair. In my video blog, am I not only making the point that, I, that Hollywood has successfully brutalized Africa and created nations that were once great into savage nations of horrific and unequivocal injustice towards the pale-faced Westerner. But in reality, we all know that the most kindest people that you can find in Africa can be found in Somalia and many parts of East Africa and as well as all parts of North Africa. Because the Somalian people particularly have a hosp hospitality that can't be overlooked. They have a comfort and an adab that's Islamic, which makes them some of the best people on the planet, along with the rest of your Muslim brothers and sisters who hold high levels of taqwa, fear of Allah. So my message to my Somalian brothers and sisters, my family, let me say something to you quite clearly. Let us let the tribalism go. The differences between tribes, the differences between northern Somalis and southern Somalis. Let's eradicate this and focus on the true haq of la ilaha illallah and come together with unity. For the media will project us as savages and Muslim brothers and sisters in the Arab world and all around, don't fall for the okie doke. Unite with your Muslim African brothers in Somalia and around the world, North Africa in order for us to come together and create a nation of magnitude and beauty. Black Hawk Down, brutality and ignorance and criminalization of the black nation down. This is my opinion. For all those who would like to reply, do so. But if you reply with ignorance on this video blog, I have nothing for you. For this is the truth and, of course, my opinion. Brothers and sisters, this is Brother Umar signing out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Holidays. Don't even think about it, all right? I'm better on my own. Hey, we started a whole new week. It's Monday.